Hello, and welcome to this Price of Job tutorial. In this video, we'll be taking a look at the new Glass Balustrades module. To access the Glass Balustrades module, go to the Module Toolbar here across the top and select the Exteriors category, and then select Glass Balustrades, and create the module. And this opens the Glass Balustrades module. To start with, let's expand the sketch pane to get a better look. Here we can use the scroll wheel of our mouse to zoom in on the image and click and hold the wheel to reposition our image. And here we can see a couple of panes of glass balustrade. Here at the top of the main stage we have options to view the sketch in either plan view, which shows a top down view of our balustrades, or a section view, which allows us to see the balustrades from the front. To add more sections to our glass balustrades, we can click the quantity field here and select from one to five sections. Let's zoom out a little here and reposition our sketch so that we can see all five sections. And here we can see that Price of Job has automatically oriented our sections in the direction of right, up, left, and down. And to see how these are arranged, we can click the plan view and reposition our sketch to see how these have been arranged. Let's reduce our quantity to three to make this more manageable. And rather than have our third section turn left, let's have it continue to the right. So we'll change the orientation to the right. Now let's go back to section view so that we can see these from the front. And we'll reposition our sketch and zoom in a little. Now for section one, let's set our length at 2,500 millimeters. And we can input that value manually, or we can use the slider. For section two, let's change this to 6,000 millimeters. And to get a precise number, we'll just input the value manually. And then for our third section, we'll change this to also 2,500 millimeters. There, now let's take a look at our plan view. and reposition there. And now we can see the layout plan of our glass balustrades. Let's go back to section view so that we can see the sections. And we notice here that as we adjusted the length of each section, Price of Job automatically calculated the number of panes of glass and posts that would be required. So here, let's take a look at the glass stage. And we have an option here to set the size of the glass to be either equal, so that each of the glass panes will be an equal size to the next, with the small exception that it won't calculate fractions of a millimeter. So if we zoom in here, we'll see that these panes are approximately equal, but the last pane is a couple of millimeters different. In this case, each pane was the same. But here, there were fractions of a millimeter that could not be accounted for, so this last third pane is two millimeters shorter than the others. And here we have a maximum width set of 1200 millimeters meaning that these equal size panes will not exceed 1200 millimeters each. We can adjust this as necessary. Say for example, we only want a maximum width of 750 millimeters. And this will resize our panes accordingly. Alternatively, instead of equal sized, we could choose standard sized glass panes. So for example, we might choose a 1000 millimeter glass pane, which tends to be the most common. And in this case, Price Job will automatically assign each glass pane a 1000 millimeter pane with a remnant amount used to fill the final gap. In this case, 500 millimeters. Now in a scenario where this last gap here would be less than 200 millimeters, let's change this one here to 2100 millimeters in length. In this case, because the last pane would be less than 200 millimeters, the remnant is split between the last two panes. In this case, 550 millimeters each. Next, we can set our bottom gap in millimeters, and we can use the slider to adjust that. And as we do so, we can see the glass panes adjusted here on the sketch. Let's set that to 100 millimeters gap. And then also for the side gap, we can use the slider to adjust the side gap of our glass panes. And again, as we use the slider, we can see the gap in our sketch is growing or reducing. So let's set this one for about 20 millimeters. And now when you're setting up your glazing and spacing between posts, we can click glass list here 
to see a list of all of our required panels. In this case we'll need one panel of 418 by 878, two panels of 468 by 878, and nine panels of 918 by 878 millimeters, for a total of 12 panels, covering a total area of 8.48 square meters. If we wish to, we can check this box here to add this list to our description. For convenience, we can quickly print this list out, to share with our suppliers or contractors, or download it as a PDF. When we're done we can close this window. Next we'll take a look at the frame stage. Here we can select the frame diameter, set by default to 42.4 millimeters, and if we wish we can choose the larger size of 48.3 millimeters, and we can see that reflected in the sketch. Here we'll reduce that to the smaller frame. And then here we can choose the stainless steel grade. By default, 304 stainless is selected, but we can choose 316 stainless, which is recommended for marine environments close to the sea. And then we can select our section ends, both the start end and finish end. If we look here on our sketch pane, we can see where the section starts. Currently we have a scroll end selected. And then down at the end of section 3, this would be the finish, where we also have a scroll end selected. So to change the start end, we can select the drop down menu here and choose from a scroll end, or a raised cap, or a flat cap, or a wall flange, which allows us to be connected to the wall, a domed cap to provide a rounded end, or no cap at all. In this case, we'll stick with the scroll end. And then we have the same list of options here for the finish end. On this side, perhaps we'll have a wall flange. Next, we can set our start offset. Currently set to 50 millimeters. We can use the slider to adjust that, and this either extends or retracts our start end. So we'll turn that right down to zero. And then for our finish offset, the same thing. We can use the slider here to extend our wall flange. Let's extend that to 100. And next for the balustrade, we can select the drop down menu here to select the glass type. Here we have options for clear float toughened glass, satinized toughened glass, grey float toughened glass, green float toughened glass, bronze float toughened glass panels. Or if you'll be using a custom glass, you can edit the pack here to add your own materials to the Price of Job library. In this case, we'll just stick with the clear float toughened glass. And if you'd like to add a stage, you can just click the Add Stage button here and either create your new stage or select one from the Price of Job library. For example, we might select Accessories. And once we've done all of our setups, we can minimize our sketch pane here. And we can see that Price of Job has created a nicely written description of our balustrade project here, Supply and Install Frame Glass Balustrades, with our glass panel list copied from our glass list as well as a list of any accessories that we add from our new stage that we added. Here below, we have a complete breakdown of the estimate of all materials, labor, and other costs, and we can see the labor required to install each meter of handrail, each post, and each pane of glass. If we prefer to see these labor estimates in hourly estimates, we can go to the global filters here in the top left and select that, and check the box here for labor in hours. And here we can see the labor in hours for the handrails is 10, 17 hours for the posts, and 15 for the glass. And because we've checked this in our global filters, this will affect all other modules that we built after this. If we prefer to see the labor represented in piecework, we can deselect that, and the labor estimates revert back to units. If we just need to take a quick look to see how long this would be in hourly, we can choose the unit and change that from meters to hours, and that shows us that this will be 10 hours to complete this labor. Another handy feature here within the Global Filters options is the Show Prices checkbox. If you're preparing this quote in front of the customer and you prefer not to show your pricing as you build the design, you can deselect this box, and this will conceal the total costs here in the bottom left. If you prefer to leave that showing, as you build out the estimates, you can check the box for Show Prices, 
to see the total change as you build the project. We also have module filters here, which will affect only this current module, as opposed to all modules for this project. So we can select the filter here, and here we can filter out any materials, labor, plant, and tool, or other costs. So for example, if the customer will be providing the materials, we can deselect materials here, and all the material costs will be removed from our estimate. Let's keep that selected for now though, so that it's included in our estimate. Up at the top here, we can rename our module, just by typing in the field, or we can also do that over here in the left-hand sidebar by selecting the three dots and clicking Rename Module. So let's rename this one Balcony Balustrade and save. And that's retitled here in the left-hand side pane as well as here in our main stage. If we select the three dots for the main glass balustrades module, we also have an option here for Edit and here we can see that the glass balustrades have been automatically assigned to a finishes folder. We can move that as opposed to the finishes folder, instead to the renovation folder, and then close this window. Now if we have other glass balustrades to create, we can click the three dots here to duplicate this module, and let's do that twice. And then for this module here, we'll rename this one the rear balcony balustrade. And then we can just make the adjustments to this module here to suit our new measurements. So we'll remove the third section and we'll just make this 3000 millimeters in length. And perhaps this third module was not needed after all, so we can click the three dots here and delete this module and confirm. Then when we're ready, we can go to the Reports tab here, and here we'll see a quote for our renovation glass balustrades. And we have options here to show the total pricing here at the bottom, or conceal that. And we can also show or hide the subtotal per folder. So in this case, we only have the single folder for renovation, but if we deselect this, it will hide the cost for that folder, which in this case would be redundant anyways, so we'll leave that deselected. And each of the stages also has a subtotal here, which we can show or hide by selecting the Stages checkbox here. And then down below, we have a detailed breakdown of our materials, labor, plant and tool, and other costs, which we can show or hide by deselecting the Detailed checkbox. For Structure, we can choose to have just a simple structure, which shows just the description as well as our grand total. Alternately, we can choose to select Advanced, and we can choose to include the description or hide that, as well as include a list of our materials, labor, plant and tool, other costs, and we can even show or hide our pricing and material units lists. If we wish, we can include notes at the bottom or deselect this. If we choose to include notes, we can edit our notes by selecting the pencil icon here. And this opens the text editor where you can simply make any changes you wish and format the text as needed. If you wish to add anything here, you can do so, or you can import notes by selecting the Import Note button here at the bottom left. And here you can import professionally written notes from the Price a Job library. Simply click on the note you wish to add. And when you're done, you can close the text editor. And these notes are added here to the bottom of your estimate. Then Price Job has a new report here called Labor Hours, and we can select that to see a complete breakdown of the labor hours required. In this case, it will be 61.9 hours to hire a general builder, and it shows the breakdown to install the handrails, balustrade posts, and balustrade glass for a total of 7.8 days of labor. You can choose to show this structure in a simple presentation, and you can include the price or hide that if you wish, or you can choose an advanced report and choose to include the tabs and stage and price. And if you wish to combine this with your estimate, you can use the combine function here and select the reports you wish to include. So for example, perhaps in this case, we'll just have the quote and the labor hours reports. And then here we can either export that as a PDF, as a Word document, an Excel document, 
or we can email it directly from within Price a Job. And that's how to use the Glass Balustrades module. Thank you for using Price a Job.